In the mid-90s, Feruza Block was the talk of the town, thanks to her menacing turns in The Craft and as the neo-Nazi girlfriend to Edward Norton's American History X persona. She also hit the mainstream with roles in Adam Sandler's The Waterboy and the disastrous adaptation of The Island of Dr. Moreau. But somewhere around the turn of the millennium, the actress disappeared from the spotlight. So what happened to the actress who'd thrilled and chilled on the big screen? Here's why we don't hear much from Feruza Block anymore. Always the Gloom Girl What people might not know about Bach is that she actually started out as a child actress. She starred in the moody 1985 Wizard of Oz sequel, titled Return to Oz, at just 11 years old and went on to lead the TV movie The Worst Witch, too. That spooky, gloomy on-screen personality would follow her career all the way through, mostly because she was so good at it. And she solidified her status as the go-to goth girl when she played lead Wiccan outcast Nancy Downs in The Craft. That off-kilter persona has since been hard to shake. And while goth chic was all the rage in the late 90s, that wild style has hardly held up since. At this point, Bach is kinda sick of being typecast in witchy roles as well. She told Shakya, quote, People have tended to see me as an actress who has played edgier, darker roles. That's something that as much as I've enjoyed exploring isn't necessarily the one thing I want to do. End quote. Of course, her actions tell another story. Oddball antics if Bach ever really wanted to change the public's perception of her as the freaky femme fatale sort, her off-screen activities weren't helping much. Watch out for those weirdos. <laughs> we are the weirdos, mister. Some fans of The Craft have cooked up conspiracy theories about Bach joining the occult in real life after doing so on screen. And co-star Robin Tunney added fuel to that speculation fire. She told The Guardian, quote, My memory is that Feruza Bach, who plays Nancy, was actually into witchcraft. She seemed to know a lot about it, and there's an authenticity to her performance. End quote. In 2013, when Bach was a guest on the Bio Channel's Haunting Of series, even her ghost hunter, who didn't know of her career past, reported getting witchy vibes off of Bach right away, too. So yeah, maybe there was a reason she was so adept at invoking the spirit of Manal after all. Box Office Bummers Even when dark threads and scary sensuality were still in vogue, Bach couldn't quite capitalize on her burgeoning fame. Although her appearances in The Craft and movies like Almost Famous nearly earned her household name status, her follow-up films totally tanked with critics and audiences alike. Chances are, you've never even heard of films like Deuce is Wild and Dose of Reality. And that's because those Bach starring picks were panned, box office blunders that did no favors to Firuza Bach's future in the biz. She did start getting an uptick in her Rotten Tomatoes score thanks to supporting roles in indies like Wild Tigers I Have Known and Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call New Orleans. Her most significant return to screen presence happened in 2015, when she nabbed a recurring role on Showtime's crime drama series Ray Donovan. But her work has still been nowhere near the mainstream in recent years. Other Avenues of Artwork Although she has been acting since grade school, Bach has also been quietly working on other forms of creative expression, including music, performance, and drawn art pieces. Not only is she a talented jazz and rock singer, but she's also been releasing her drawings for sale on her website. She also designs and paints clothing parcels and intends to record and release an album abstaining from the fame game. In the 2014 film documentary Lost Soul, Bach revealed that she didn't subscribe to the same professional philosophies of some of her peers, saying, There are no morals. There are no... There's no integrity at all. They'd sell their child down the river for money. So, understandably, her approach to the movie business has been a bit different than most. She told Dread Central that she feels a need to be interested by a potential acting project's merit rather than the bottom line of any given opportunity, saying, Quote, I never just want to work for the sake of working. There has to be something there for me so that I can grow from the experience. I struggled a lot with being pushed too hard in my 20s, with people telling me that I had to keep taking more and more movies because that's really only when I'd be relevant. There is no satisfaction in working like that, at least for me." End quote. Time for a turnaround? Even though Bach's public profile has taken a dip in recent years, it's clear she's still willing to work if the right opportunity presents itself. And she's got one project she's just itching to brush the dust off of. Her indie pick, August Falls, which she's described as her most happy set experience of all time, is still pending release. And she told Fangoria that she hopes to find something completely surprising for her next big role, saying, quote, For me, it's all about continuing to explore where I can go with acting as well as music, as well as art. I hope the next time I get the chance to play a role that no one expects. I have explored the dark, heavy-duty parts in depth, 
maybe I'll try a more subtle character in the future." End quote. Until then, there's always plenty of solid throwback material to mine through. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!